Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and I've got something that I'm just dying to show you. Something I saw the other day at the Nashville uh, Preparedness Expo. Right? This is a survival still. It's a very new product. Um, came out on the market in December, and uh, as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was something special. Uh, bought one and just want to share it with you. Okay. So what this is is a still to allow you to purify water. You open the box up, pretty small little thing. Basically, it is a two piece unit made out of stainless steel, and this is a um, medical grade silicon hose, right? What this device does is it allows you to purify water better than, than filters or, or uh, um, tablets or, or anything else because, number one, this is going to last pretty much forever. It's not going to have to have filters that need to be replaced or iodine crystals you need to, to buy, you know, uh, uh, any of that stuff, right? Because this works on scientific properties of distillation, right? And it's really cool because you can use this on, on a fire, on a propane stove. We're going to use this first one here on my oven, uh, on the stove eye, but we're going to do other projects where we do this on the grill, we're going to do this in the fire. But really, you buy this device, all you need are some pots, right? This pot's going to go on the heat, and if you want to do this on a campfire, you might want to use a, uh, you know, like a Dutch oven, something cast iron, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with my dirty water. And what this is, I'm just going to use some sweet tea. But you could use, you know, muddy water. You could use salt water. Um, right now, this is even being tested at a university to see if it will uh, uh, distill out radiologically contaminated water. Well, things like cesium, heavy metals, you know, radiological heavy metals like cesium. But, uh, you know, we're just going to use some tea, but it really doesn't matter. This could be urine, this could be salt water, this could be muddy water, it could be, you know, just about anything that's got uh, water and some sort of contaminant. Then what you're going to do is place the still on it, just like this. Okay? And, you know, the more level you've got this, the better. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a collection jar. Right. Put it off. And we're going to have the, uh, have it drain off into it. Okay. Next, you take your pot of cold water and put on the top. So I've taken everything apart and I'm heating back up the water and I just want to tell you something that, that I think is cool about this device because he's got a two-piece, Mr. Meter, the guy that uh, invented this, because he made a two-piece uh, unit, right? What happens is, say this thing splashes or, you know, you, you knock it or whatever or it, you know, you know it foams up. The way it's designed, this contaminated water is physically separated from this clean collection dome, right? So only thing that's ever going to come out of here is going to be pure water because you've got, you know, this, anything that splashes up out of here, you know, it's going to fall down into this trough, but the steam is going to come out these holes. So you don't have to worry about cross contamination, right? So. We're just going to let this heat up. When it gets close to boiling, we will uh, show you how everything works. All right, so you see a little steam's coming up. Coming up through the hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and that's all that's going to happen and this water is slowly going to drip down and it's it's a cooling factor of about 12 to 1 so you need about uh, 12 times as much cold water as you're going to get drinking water because you've got to take the energy you're putting energy into the water to turn it into steam then you take energy out of the steam to turn it back into water just to show you what's going on you wouldn't do this while you were actually distilling water but I'm going to lift this up and let you see kind of what's going on see all that water it's coming up touching the cold dropping down ooh hot and then coming down in that trough and running into the tube in the collection tube you can't see it yet I don't think too well but this pot of water is starting to heat up because it's pulling energy out of the steam and down at the very bottom of the pot it's starting to pick up you know bubbles like like it would boil as far as a disaster situation maybe camping or, or you know some sort of catastrophic disaster where fuel and, and energy are a premium if it were me I would utilize this because it's going to get kind of warm. You know, this is good uh, bath water, good, um, you know, washing water, good hygiene water. Of course, if you, uh, if you use the water up here for, uh, you know, purposes such as that, you want to make sure that this water is pretty clean too. If we're able to get pure, clear, water out of sweet tea basically sugar water right you know think of all the other stuff that we could distill out so all right there you go and that's all there is to it i think these things are, are really awesome i think everybody ought to get them especially when you consider that they cost about $279, which is comparable to a Berkeley filter or other, um, other uh, filters of that type, right? Uh, it filters out even more things or it purifies the water from even more things and, and it basically lasts forever. You don't have to buy replacement cartridges. So I think this is a very good um, product to have as a as a prepper right because no matter what you need water so until next time you always get some online www.tngun.com